welcome back to my channel so I'm back with another video and I am this is my second time filming this part because the um, the SD card that had this footage got misplaced by moi my bad but so anyways I did have a, some footage from when I first filmed it on this SD card that I'm filming on right now so Hopefully some of this video can be salvaged because I really don't want to refilm it. And so, yeah, I'm just kind of going through a play-by-play um, -play in this part. And hopefully I'll have enough footage to where you guys can understand what it is I'm doing. But anyways, that was a long explanation. But I'm showing you how I make my mood boards. This is the finished product. This is the one I was working on in the video. And... Uh, during my 50 facts about me video, I showed you guys my other mood boards that I've made before. They're in different sizes. And I, and I have a bunch in like different sizes that you can see right here that I need more command hooks to hang them up. But anyways, so yeah, I believe I asked if you guys wanted to see how I made my mood slash inspiration board or somebody asked me if I could film it so here I am refilming this video <laughs> but yeah so if you guys want to figure out how to or if you guys want to see how I make my inspiration boards mood boards or whatever you like to call them just keep on watching so in my original when I filmed this this frame was empty but this is from Ikea and I like getting all my frames from Ikea because they're pretty sturdy and durable and they're really affordable which is why I like them and I always get the white because you can decorate like you can paint it or like draw on it and stuff which is nice so but they do sell it in black as well but I like the white because it's more customizable you'll need an exacto knife well optional but I like using it and op also optional is a pencil you'll obviously need some type of glue or adhesive to stick the papers onto the board and then you'll need scissors this is I have a bunch of them these are scrap pieces but then I have a whole one this is like the little poster board poster boards and I what I do is I take out the back of the frame and I trace it onto a poster board because I don't feel like the papers that come in the frame are sturdy enough to hold the papers so I trace it if that makes sense I had this on film but of course I lost it I need to get over it but so this is about the size of a frame right here because this is the piece I used in the video and then I take that piece of paper and and you'll also need magazines out of a ton. Most of them are style watch or good housekeeping or better homes and gardens and stuff, but I prefer style watch because most of my mood boards have to do with like fashion and beauty. What I do is I go through the magazines and I pick out stuff that I think is cute, inspires me, you know, and I'll cut it out and then once I have a bunch of little different pieces of paper, I'll arrange them on the poster board. And when I kind of get it to how I want, like I'll lay them all out and not glue them for, down first. I learned from that mistake of just gluing random pieces on as you go. I always like to lay them out first to kind of visualize it and move stuff around and see what go goes better where, like colors and things like that. And then I'll take my glue and I'll just glue down every single piece. And then I'll just sit and let it dry. Here is the finished product. Wait, hold on, let me zoom out so you can see it better. But this is what it looks like. I think that it's super cute. I'm trying to center it. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite mood boards I've done yet because I have a ton of outfits. I also like the sweet tea right there, I have to admit and the avocado but anyways yeah so that's the complete look and if you guys like do any mood boards send them to me because I'd love to see your mood boards because seeing other people's mood uh, seeing other people's mood boards inspire me so 
if you do one, send me a picture, tag me in it so I can see your creation. And my Instagram will be down below, plug. <laughs> but um, So anyways, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys do mood boards or if you want to do a mood board after watching this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.